video and today I want to on guys is X. We're back to giving a brand new video and today I want to talk about the upcoming Bushy Rose strategy presentation. Now if you don't know what that is, every three months, you know, every uh, quarter of the year, Bushy Road uh, presents a bunch of their card games and other stuff to, you know, kind of show up their strategy for the upcoming quarter. And so this one is coming up today at the time of this recording for Weiss. This is going to be its 15th anniversary, so it gets a separate day all to itself to kind of celebrate it and all things white shorts related, including white shorts blau. So that happens, and then day two, which will be tomorrow, will be everybody else, <laughs> pretty much. So that is going to happen, and what my plan is to basically just kind of do what we do always, right? It's like. Yeah, we do Tuesday. We're gonna do our usual Tuesday stream. We're gonna go over all the white shorts deal details, and we all know where all y'all gonna go anyway for the uh, for the Vanguard stuff. I might pull up for this because this is a Cray Cross Epic uh, potential update, and I have some other things. And uh, so we we might just actually have like a double stream that night, just kind of casually chill and you know have my reaction to everything. But other than that, depends on depends on how people feel. I will probably release a uh, a uh, vlog uh, thing on YouTube to kind of talk about it when we get there. But for now, this is kind of what the deal is. On that note, we're going to talk about my uh, theories and uh, you know my uh, actual <clears throat> excuse me. We're going to talk about my predictions for the upcoming uh, announcements for this product stream, both for Weiss and for Vanguard and for everything else coming out there. So, for day one, we are going to have Y Schwartz everything. Everything Y Schwartz, we might have a performance, we might have some big news, whatever. So this is my uh, assumptions for Y Schwartz regular. Uh, pretty much anything that was announced for English gets poured over. There was actually a uh, a thing in like monthly Bush Road that just dropped like sometime early this year where they actually I mean early this month excuse me where they actually kind of talked about all the English exclusive games that released for Wes Schwartz like a 15th anniversary uh, like little little uh, cutout and whatnot so that's my thought I'm thinking they're probably gonna update and probably bring up some of those games like Ruby Adventure Time um, Chainsaw Man, maybe I don't know. We haven't got any news on Chainsaw Man. I think about it. That's probably something we should probably get in for one. Um, so that's probably gonna happen. Um, we're probably gonna get another SAO set because, and probably gonna they're gonna steal another thing from Build a Wide, like Near Automata or something, because, or Bushi the Rock because they, you know, you know, uh, Build a Wide can't keep anything to itself. You know, that's that's cool. <laughs> uh, and one more thing I would say, one more Disney related product, you know, we got the whole Disney big set and then we got uh, Star Wars getting a re like a redone set as well. So this also will probably be the case. So that's my thoughts on what's happening for White Shorts. I'm not really that into like the White Shorts community, so I don't really know what people would want from White Shorts what they would expect uh there are there's probably you know there are a couple channels that, that do white shorts and i was just you know go look at them for a little more details but uh, that's my thoughts as for blau i'm probably gonna say we're gonna get like the not sort of way too i don't really know what we're gonna have to be honest if i barely know much about white shorts regular i know even less about white shorts blau so we're kind of working on uh crumbs here I would say probably like maybe like some more uh, boy bands because this is more for assumedly the the female audience or whatever. And I don't know. I don't know who ever said that. Who said that and why did they say it? <laughs> that's that's a good question. Who said it and why did they say it? Uh, but you know we're gonna move on from there because um, I don't really have much to say about Blau. I think Blau is still too early to really make a call on on what could be brought in or not that's just how it is as for everything else we're gonna start with card vanguard of course we've got three sectors here uh we're gonna talk about anime uh obviously i think we're gonna have the voice actors there and then they're gonna talk about uh, the upcoming finale of season two and we might get a small little teaser for season three because season three will probably be um sometime by the it'll be, it'll be released before the next strategy presentation anyway 
so it'd be nice to at least get a little teaser for that information i think it's supposed to drop next month i forgot when uh world dress season 3 actually drops so that's gonna be you know that's gonna be thing i suspect that as for the game itself uh we're probably get more we probably get the full real set 10 image uh we didn't really get uh a, a clear image it actually like leaked out like the day before leonor dropped so that's going to be seen, and you'll probably get a look at J Jeweled or whatever's going to be in that set. So, we're going to have that. Then we're also going to have probably more information set 11. We're probably going to see more details on what's actually in the set, how the set works. And probably going to get more info on any additional encounters. All we know about the encounters so far is that Ezel is in it. But outside of that, we know nothing there, right? So, if I were to assume, I would say we probably would get... I say because of the title, I'd say now is the time where we get a D Robo encounter right line. So I can definitely feel, you know, I could definitely feel a different fight being extremely happy tonight or tomorrow night. You know, wherever you're watching this, basically. So that's going to be interesting. Um, <laughs> after that, I'm not really sure. We might get a another Stoikea one, might be in their Dark States. You know, just kind of fill that up. So I would say probably if we go to Kea, I'd say probably go in Maelstrom. Or if we go Dark States, probably uh, Amon or Rage or something. That's just my thoughts. I don't really know. But maybe we can get like a, thong, a bone, right? We got a uh, Minerva with uh, all the other ones. So I'd say we probably might get like something farther up. Maybe it'd be weird. Like when we got Car from Legion. That'd be interesting. I don't know what or why, but get it. <laughs> so that's that's my thoughts on what we get with Set 11. We're probably gonna get more details on Token Rambo that we either get repeated from the Tuesday stream, which, you know, Tuesday stream, they're gonna announce more Token Rambo details. Uh, yeah, in case you didn't realize, Token Rambo's coming up. And uh, maybe some extra detail, maybe more, like some more full view of like, other stuff you didn't get during the original Tuesday stream. And maybe a teaser set 12. I would say we probably get a teaser set 12. If not, maybe maybe another like uh, announcement of something there. And then my biggest copium take is we might get an announcement of a second uh, V slash premium product. Not not like a V or P product, more so like probably like a actual product for one of those formats. You know that's not just reprints i would say probably like maybe another v clan collection or maybe a premium collection you know i still think we need more g guards and i think another premium collection would definitely help with that so that's that's my thought on that though that'd be kind of crazy considering they would just have shot in 24 new effectively new strides and scenarios for each like clan into premium that'd be like well maybe you just need a little bit of time to actually kind of figure it out but I, I still think maybe maybe close things to another V Clan collection or something, just to kind of give maybe something to go more, more towards going to older decks and updating them a bit, right? I know we have the maids in the format and whatnot. Which, by the way, I I obviously have not talked about a uh, a ban list discussion. I'll probably just uh, kind of put that at the start of my record a second video, a second separate thing. Um, actually, no, I'm, well, actually, I'm just saying right now, I don't know what's going to get hit. I would say because Deluxe is happening right now, I'd say more than anything, this is, like, the perfect time to, like, input all the previous hits from English into the Japanese format because Japan did not actually, like, make any real changes outside of a couple cards that were obviously problems in V and Premium, but outside that, they didn't really make the same amount of changes that, uh... English had, so I'd say they probably up at those, and probably we do a hit to Steam Maidens or some other decks that really need some, some pruning. I, I say, like, I think I was trying to like keep Entriana and uh, you know, all them, you know, safe, but I, I let's be honest here, that they need to go. As for standard, I don't think anything's gonna have a standard. I think standard is it, it's hard to hit something in standard, I think. I think the problem is the cards that make some of these decks like big top tier meta cards are kind of hard to hit. 
because of just how the cards I would say like probably like the great one promo for Ava. I think that one is really insane. And I think now they've addressed the research orders having a grade one and having an additional grade one. I think you could probably just hit that down to like two, maybe one. Because very least, like one of the big things about Ava is that it needs Obscadade in rotation. And this card gets Obscadade in rotation. So I'd say probably maybe hit the, the uh, result experiment. You know, go to one. That would probably be the one thing I say hit. Uh, I don't know what you hit in Jet. Maybe like a, a choice restrict between one of the obviously key pieces of maybe um what's it called brainwash swirler and uh and jet maybe you do a choice just on those two like yeah you can't you can't have jet brainwash swirler and um all this power like you just can't do it so like maybe cut off from the time leap uh stuff right there so that's probably it and then I don't know, every other deck is kind of like in a weird state, but I think everything's fine for now. I think wait for set 10 and set 11 to come through and go from there. So that's that's my choices. I think just something to hit Steam Mains of V Premium and kind of clean up those formats a bit uh, and maybe hit the, the promo order to one and choice restrict brainwash roller and jet. That's pretty much all I can think of. Uh, that's it. And, you know, on to the final thing, and this is going to be the big topic of this video more so, is for Vanguard Zero, I say literally anything could be announced and be better than what we got. Like, we got an announcement for the Vanguard Zero Championships, which was basically a giant art book. No, no information about what's coming up next, nothing there. So we have no information on what's going on with Zero. So that's why I say this is probably... Vanguard Zero's last chance to actually like release information. If not, it it, it might be over. It might it is almost 99% over. Unless they announce like, oh, we're making a sequel game or something, or like like Princess Connect Redive, right? We just Princess Connect Vanguard Zero. <laughs> Which should be also pretty interesting. I think regardless, anything that isn't worse. Then the state of the game is right now is just gonna be positive because vanguard zero really really messed up with the g, g update and it refused and it's sad because like it basically refused to do anything about it and then continue to make things worse especially with the uh the zero offs and whatnot and i think the fine the one time they finally made a change which was make grs like to a you know to a box which, you know, that's how you pull your gotcha. Uh, it finally did it in the last set they announced. So basically they waited until all the sets were done to then fix the problem they could have fixed any point in time throughout the format. Any time the past one and a half years that G had been around. So it's very frustrating, as you can tell, that they just really just did not care until it was like too little too late. Or they just couldn't do it until it was too little too late. And so this is kind of the problem. It's like, if they drop something, it has to be big. Because I don't know why you kind of didn't hold off on this this month. Why you changed the GR rates now. And we're pretty much outside of Tachikaze. Pretty much done with all the main sets. And I don't know where you put all the, the extra sets. You haven't done a, uh, a, a event for... A the uh, clans or whatnot. You haven't done anything of that. You've only done reprints of like these of uh, the diff riders, and that's it. So what's what's the plan? What's the plan here? Like, please just give us something. That's all I'm asking. So Shadowverse Evolve Evolve is also uh, probably going to be here. I think we're going to get more details on set five. By the way, did you know set four released? Uh, I'm sure Different Fighters probably released a video talking about Set 4 since he's going to go more into Shadowverse Evolve. So that's probably there. I would say probably there, maybe like enough for some more Dark Decks or Trial Decks or whatever have you to kind of help more people in the game. And then uh, maybe a, another collab booster. That'd be crazy considering that the last collab booster, the, uh, the Uma Musume one, almost killed the game. 
allegedly. But, you know, hey, you know what? Maybe they learned a lesson. They lessened power of this one without going too crazy. Still being probably like a, a deck you could probably pick up and be like comfortable with, but you know, not too crazy, you know? So who knows what that's going to be. It could be a, a Grand Blue Fantasy related thing. Could be anything. Could be, I don't know what. And it could be Psyche's own Prison Connect. I think they do. So, yeah, that's when your Savage Ball and for lastly for Rebirth, uh, Hollow Life set. More details than they already known. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I've really kind of like outside of the the weirdness of the Rebirth stuff, I've kind of like given up on the game more so just because it just you know, I think primarily because the Genshin Impact set got officially canceled, it the the one thing I was excited for in this game. You know, kind of kill my hype for the game. And I, I'm just here for the wacky hijinks that happen during the presentation. I'll say that. If they can announce literally anything, if they give me another Genshin like announcement that is in Hollow Life, I'd be really excited for it. So, yeah, those are my thoughts going into the upcoming Bishop Strategy presentation. Uh, I don't know what you guys think. You know, if you're watching this uh, past the point, you know, what exciting thing do you have? Uh, as always, I'm always going to like do a roundup of the announcements. Um, uh, hopefully, Freedom Duo does uh, two of the uh, of the slides they do. That would help immensely. <laughs> you know, so you know we're gonna do a roundup, news roundup, get my thoughts on the whole news itself. Uh, we're gonna talk about the Weiss news on Tuesday on the Tuesday stream we usually do, which we every 4 p.m. Central Time over at twitch.tv forward slash rf underscore zex. Links always in the description. And uh, come join us. So thank you very much for watching. If you like more TCG related content, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.